So is new nuclear the answer? Well, joining me now is the head of policy at Net Zero Watch, Harry Wilkinson. Welcome to the programme. Um, the government seems to be leaning in to nuclear power. Uh, Kwasi Kwarteng has said that nuclear power has to be part of the answer. Um, are we doing enough, therefore, to make sure it is a big part of the mix? Well, I think absolutely <clears throat> this is the right direction to be going in. We need to see more nuclear brought forward. It's a vital part of the energy mix. It provides reliable, uh, low-carbon power. So it's right that the government is making attempts to bring this forward. What we have with the nuclear energy bill uh, is, is an attempt to change how we finance nuclear projects. So this is about saying that actually the developers of nuclear power stations will actually have access to a stream of payments uh, before it actually starts generating uh, electricity. So it shifts some of the risk uh, from those builders of those projects um, to, to the consumers. So this will mean more risk uh, for energy bill payers, for everyone up and down the country. Um, but it will actually help reduce the costs in the long term. So that's the, the very much the aim of the government. It needs to be uh, implemented properly because in some ways you could say it gives a blank check for these companies to take payments uh, from the public. So that needs to be tightly monitored uh, to make sure that there isn't exploitation of that system. But if that can be done, uh, then we may see uh, costs come down, and that would be a good thing for everyone. I think the government argues that this could save something like £30 billion to consumers, although that's obviously in the long run rather than the short run, and there is that risk. But is it your view that this makes new nuclear power stations much more likely in this country? This is a big step that does uh, appear to, to lower the cost of nuclear projects. It brings down a hurdle that was in the way of nuclear projects because it was just such a big risk. Uh, and part of that is regulatory risk. It's a huge uh, minefield of different regulations that you have to, uh, and, and quite rightly, given the safety issues, um, but, but that nonetheless made it a very daunting uh, prospect for companies to get involved with. So this actually gives them a bit of support um, and helps bring nuclear forward in that way. Um, but I think ultimately what we want to be seeing is, is a competitive energy market with uh, different technologies allowed to compete um, with each other. And this is an, another complex layer of intervention um, that actually could, if uh, implemented wrongly, actually uh, misfire and lead to more risks and more failed projects. We've seen lots of projects stall along the way. Um, because of various reasons, and, and we certainly don't want to see that happen again. No, we certainly don't. Well, we'll keep a keen eye on this. Um, I know that uh, you and I are both uh, fervently in favour of new nuclear power. Let's, let's hope that it, it happens and in a way that is not too expensive. But uh, for now, Harry Wilkinson, thank you for joining us this morning on The Briefing. Very important bill there in the Lords today.